At the Pentagon, where 184 people died in the September 11th attacks, taps marked the moment when an American Airlines jet hijacked by al-Qaeda terrorists made impact. An American flag unfurled at that exact spot, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin leading the remembrance. The men and women of the Department of Defense will always remember. and We will always honor the memory of our fallen teammates. And we will always strive to be worthy of the memory of those we lost. And in Lower Manhattan, dignitaries including Vice President Harris, New York's governor, mayor, and its senators joined families of victims, survivors, and 9-11 first responders in moments of silence. 2,753 people died at the World Trade Center that day. Their names read aloud. My sister, Jody Tepedino Niccolo. Tower One, 105th floor, Canner Fitzgerald. We miss you, Jody. In recent weeks, the remains of two more victims were positively identified by New York City's medical examiner. Still, 40% of those lost have not been positively identified. 343 New York firefighters died on 9-11. Since then, an additional 331 have died from 9-11 related illnesses. In Shanksville, Pennsylvania, they're remembering the crew and passengers of United Flight 93. Later today, President Biden will mark the tragic anniversary, addressing troops at a U.S. military base in Anchorage, Alaska. And here beneath a gleaming new World Trade Center, a new generation remembers those who were killed on September 11, 2001. Many of them not born 22 years ago, but who cannot help feel the enormity of their families' losses. Aaron Kitursky, ABC News, New York.